Hi, my name is Luke. I'm from Adreno, Melbourne, and today I want to talk about the difference between a pneumatic spear gun and a traditional spear gun powered by rubber. Um, there is a myth that these pneumatic spear guns are easier to load or use, um, and that probably has to do with the compact size and that they look pretty clean when they're loaded. Um, and then you have a traditional spear gun that's going to use rubber to, to pull back and power the, the spear. Um, something I want to demonstrate is actually when you load this, um, the spear goes in the front there, and you do have to actually carry a piece to actually put over the tip of the spear, so you're able to pull it back. So that's a piece that you're gonna have to tether, have it around your wrist or clipped off to you. Um, and if you lose it, you're kind of uh, out of luck. But you get that on there, and then this very small spear gun becomes something very, very long when it actually comes to loading it. So you're gonna have to pull this back and push into there. So sometimes you're actually resting this, if it's a long gun, on your foot, on top of your foot there, or you can get it into your hip. You can see it's pretty long to actually get that, where you can actually pull it back and get it into place. Um, alternatively, a spear gun that's just a little bit longer than that pneumatic, when you put it to your chest, very easily I can reach the rubbers here um, and pull that back. So straight away, this is actually an easier setup that I can load. Um, the other things to think about in maintenance is a pneumatic spear gun has O-rings and air pressure, and if there's any problems with them, you're going to have to actually send it away to a technician and let them service it and repair it for you. Alternatively, a regular spear gun with a couple knots and some materials that you can buy over the counter, you can learn to repair it yourself. So that just means if you're on a liveaboard or on a road trip, anything goes wrong, you can actually mend these guns as opposed to something like that and you blow an O-ring, you're kind of out of luck until you can get it repaired. So that's just a general of what might be different between a pneumatic spear gun and a traditional gun powered with rubber. Thanks.